Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to disassemble and upgrade the Lenovo IdeaPad S340. Whether it is a Core i3 or a Core i5 or an AMD variant, this is the video you need to watch and upgrade the laptop. Is it not that your laptop is slow if it is a Core i3 variant with a hard drive? You need to watch this video if you want to speed up the laptop. Remember, this particular series S340 of Lenovo without a SSD is a big blunder. You cannot literally use it with a hard drive installed onto it. There's a lot of issue that we have faced with the customers who have come back telling that the laptop is very slow and we have advised them to take a SSD and the procedure to install an SSD is in this video. So let's do it. So if your laptop uh, is something, it might be a blue color, uh, it might be a silver or a gray color. On the top it looks like this uh, and once you open you have the three sided nano bezel with the web camera and the keypad is something that looks like this with the touchpad over here. The power button is over here on the right and uh, on the left side you have a charging pin connector, HDMI, C type port and a headphone mic and uh, on the right side you have a indicator power indicator you have a one key recovery key and memory card reader and two usb 3.0s and the base of the laptop is something which looks like this then you can apply this particular procedure so it might be any variant of intel core i3 core i5 or uh, amd ryzen 5 or ryzen 3 this is the process that you need to apply things up uh, we need to flip the laptop and you will see these screws 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now you have to be very careful about uh, this screw over here this is a smaller screw and it might not come out very easily let it be like that all the other screws are of the same size this screw over here you need to take a tweezer like this and uh, remove the screw so this is uh, a very small screw that uh, is there out of as many screws this is one screw that will be small and it has to go here only it cannot go here or here it will screw in but if you screw it other place then uh, it will directly hit the touchpad so be very careful while screwing this over here so from the left side third and from the right side first take a triangular prior like this and start prying base cover will give away very very comfortably and uh, it exposes the inners of this particular laptop now you can see this is the battery here this is the ram bay area this is the hard drive area this is where the m.2 ssd can be put this is the wi-fi chip the fan here and the cmos cell is over here so literally everything is uh, immediately accessible uh, once you open the base so let's start with the battery first so these one two three screws have to be removed you just need to remove uh, the wires that are entangled onto the battery here the speaker wires basically just take a tweezer and remove the wiring and uh, then you need to remove the battery connector over here so just need to you can very comfortably just pull it out like this and the battery will be out the battery is a 52.5 watt hour battery uh, 4610 mah and the voltage rating is 13.05 volts the type of the battery is l18 m3 pf7 so you need to take a similar battery if you want to replace the battery over here so this is the battery that you need to buy keep it on one side now coming to the part where the ram is ram is covered by this uh, casing here metal casing which is held by little notches over here all around you just need to uh, very carefully on one of the edges here take a blade like this and uh, 
the cover will give away so as you can see this laptop comes with the onboard soldered 4 gb ram and you can put another 4 gb 8 gb or up to 16 gb ddr4 low voltage ram so you need to uh, upgrade 4 gb 8 gb or 16 gb is the upgrade capacity of this uh, ram slot here and you have to take a ddr4 low voltage 266 megahertz irrespective whether it is core i3 or core i5 if it is a ryzen 3 or ryzen 5 variant then you have to take 3200 megahertz ram 3200 aa so here we are taking a 2666 megahertz ram and we are just inserting it like this over here very comfortably and just press it after pressing it you need to again put back the cover so you need to first fit in the panel like this and then you have to just press it now coming to the part where the m.2 ssd has to be fitted you can uh, take a m.2 nvme ssd uh, 250 gb 256 gb 128 gb 512 gb or 1 terabyte up to 1 terabyte nvme ssd gen 3 is supported by this particular laptop we have not tried with the gen 4 it might support gen 4 also but uh, we have not tried but gen 3 works absolutely fine up to 3000 mbps just take a ram like this and insert it over here and uh, the screws will not be there on this particular laptop so you just need to remove uh, any one of the motherboard screws and uh, install it just take a hard drive screw like this and install it over here and your ssd is installed this laptop has a very peculiar problem of it being slow because of uh, the hard drive uh, having the os on it so if your laptop has a hdd on which the os is installed then you need to install a ssd otherwise which this laptop will not give you the performance that you're looking for so this ssd will make sure that the laptop is having a good speed now coming to the hard drive there are uh, these few two screws that we have to remove one screw is over here on the lenovo stickering you just need to remove the stickering or you can directly take the screwdriver and uh, remove the screw and another screw is over here after removing these two screws there are two more screws over here below the speakers so you just need to remove these speakers then these two screws are also over here you just need to remove these two screws so in total one two three four screws have to be removed and then you just need to push it out of the bracket the hard drive will come off so you need to buy a 2.5 SATA up to 2 terabyte hard drive you can install say you want to upgrade the capacity from 1 terabyte to 2 terabyte take a 2.5 inch form factor SATA HDD or SSD for HDD the max capacity is 2 terabyte for SSD the max capacity is 1 terabyte then there are these 1, 2, 3 and 4 screws which you have to remove the hard drive comes out and the metal casing has to be fitted back onto the new hard drive. Say your uh, speakers have gone bad you need to remove this particular speaker connector and uh, there is this one speaker over here and another speaker over here just need to take this speaker if the speaker has gone bad and replace it with another speaker like this now you need to put the speakers back like this put the speaker connector back onto the motherboard This is the keyboard connector and this is the backlit keyboard connector so if your keyboard is behaving erratically and you want to i mean at this point of time just need to disconnect the keyboard so that you can use an external keyboard for the time being you can just remove this particular strip connector over here and uh, you can remove the keyboard connector over here like this and you can again start using it without the internal keyboard of the laptop as of now we don't have that requirement we'll again put it back same with the backlit also so this is the touchpad uh, connecting cable so if the touchpad uh, is not working and you just want to disable it just need to remove this connector uh, like this over here and remove the cable and the touchpad will stop working in another video we'll show you how to replace the keyboard and touchpad assembly completely now most of you would have a issue with the time and date of the laptop uh, so here is where the cmos cell is just need to remove this stickering here need to remove this particular connecting cable here which is connecting to the cmos battery there is some glue over here just need to remove it out and uh, the cmos cell will come out so take a similar uh, cmos cell this is a cmos cell that you need to buy cr2032 cmos cell just need to take a cell and then uh, put the positive and negative nodes appropriately and then sticker it so this is the 
processor fan here so if you want to clean up the fan you need to remove two screws and uh, you need to also remove the uh, heat sink one two three screws and the heat sink and the entire assembly will come off if you want to clean it up this is the wi-fi chip and if you want to replace the wi-fi chip just need to remove this part over here remove the screw over here and these two antennas and take another wi-fi chip of the same configuration and install it this is the power connector this is the display cable connector over here so if you just want to at times uh, your display is not coming just remove it and again fit it there are chances that uh, the display might again start working fine so let us start putting things back put the battery connector back keep pressing so that uh, the flower bracket fits to avoid any mistake in putting the screws put this small screw first thing first so you don't get confused otherwise you will mess up the laptop's touchpad and after that put the other screws This my friends was a video showing you the upgrade process of the Lenovo IdeaPad S340 and uh, you can uh, after watching this video install a RAM up to 16 GB DDR4 you can install a M.2 NVMe SSD which is very important if your laptop is not shipped with a SSD per se and it is a good thing if it is not with an SSD you can put a faster SSD because the SSD that companies generally ship along with the laptops are slower M.2 SSDs so put a good SSD onto this and we've also shown you how to replace the speaker, the CMOS cell, the hard drive, the battery especially after 2 to 3 hours of usage, 2 to 3 hours of usage you need to replace the battery of this particular laptop and even the Wi-Fi chip. Thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. And remember, we take a lot of effort to make these videos absolutely free of cost to help you out. Uh, you need to subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon. Thank you so much again.